Hey guys. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. My name's Sarah, I make YouTube videos about The Sims. Today is a very, very monumentous day. It's a very special day because this marks the first episode of a new series on my channel called Sarah Builds the States. I just came up with that right now. Um, so this series is going to be me building 50 houses in The Sims, each one shaped like a different US state. And you know, putting all credit where credit is due, I must say that this idea came to me during one of Lil Simsy's last shell challenges when she said, this shell really looks like Texas. And my brain looked at that, my brain looked back at me, and my brain said, build 50 houses. 50 houses, each one in the shape of a different US state. My brain has not shut up about that idea since then. So, the only way to make it shut up is to actually do it. So, we are going to be starting this challenge today, and I figure what better state to start with than the one that started it all, Texas. So, if you don't know, if you don't live in the US, if you're not familiar with US geography, Texas looks like this. And I'm gonna make a house that looks like it in The Sims. Let's just get started. Okay, so here we are. This is this is a 50 by 50 lot in Oasis Springs. This is this is the park lot. And I just figured a 50 by 50 lot is probably the best. So I must say, this challenge is probably going to be difficult and it's probably not going to be perfect because of dimensions in the sim. You know, you can only build one wall on one tile, you can't do half tiles, things like that. The diagonals only go one angle. So this will not be perfect, but it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be cool. It'll be interesting. Let's just start with probably the easiest part, the top, the top of Texas. So I'm gonna start way up here just so I have enough space for everything else. That seems good. Now this side goes down a bit further than this side. That one only goes down about there. It's a little jagged on this side. So, I mean, honestly, that looks pretty good for the top of Texas. That side's pretty easy. It goes out just like that. Um, going back to this side, it kind of goes straight down from there and then it comes out just a little again. If you're from Texas, I'm so sorry. We can always fix this after too, cause this is already starting to look a little strange. Oh, did I really mess up the proportions? Perhaps, perhaps I did. You know what? This part, like this upper corner looks amazing. Good job to me. This, it's this part that I don't know what to do. Okay, so this is looking better. I'm just so scared to try and do this point here. You know what? It doesn't look bad. Maybe this part is a bit too tall, but like, I mean, that's pretty Texas. If you ask me, that's pretty Texas. This, it's gonna be really bad. Like, I'm not gonna try and make this, you know, like the best house you've ever seen, but I am gonna try and make it a cohesive house. So for floor plan, I think the kitchen is gonna be back here because it is so hard to make kitchens on um, diagonals, which is basically what everything else is. Um, I think maybe here will be like one bedroom, two bedrooms. This will be like office study area. This will probably be another bedroom. And then this can be like living and dining somehow in here. This can be a gigantic, like this is a huge house. We'll do like a huge, like a chef's kitchen. So let's look for a three wide door. I mean, the seasons ones are obviously a go-to. I don't know what kind of colors we want yet. So I'll just put that there for now. Okay, a window there, window there, sure, sure. Roofing? Oh my God, I didn't even think of that. How did I not even think of that? I am so bad at roofing anyway, I don't know what to do. I mean, roofing isn't, isn't my main concern with how this house is gonna turn out, but it is a concern. <laughs> but then it doesn't look like Texas anymore, you know? Like maybe there shouldn't be a roof because it won't look like Texas. Okay, we'll come back to the roofing later. Um, That looks fine. I think let's start with the bathrooms, probably the easiest thing. Let's do a nice, like a fancy, this fancy tub shower combo. I think that'll look great. Okay, I mean bathrooms, simple, easy. Okay, as for kitchen, probably the next easiest thing. I mean, this is gonna be a gigantic kitchen, I'm gonna tell you. And the center piece to the gigantic kitchen should be two extremely nice appliances and a pancake griddle. Should there be, should it be a pancake griddle in between? I think it looks more nice and centered that way. Maybe cool kitchen is the way to go. These people are also gonna have two fridges because they're just that cool. It's a very symmetrical kitchen. I mean, look at that. 
That's insane. That's like a, that's a chef's kitchen. I mean, I would love it if there was not a gap in between those appliances, but we can't have every single thing that we want, you know? This might be the time to do a nice big circle island. How about two kitchen sinks to make it symmetrical? Boom, boom, boom. I would live here so fast. I like to put the, put the hoods just in the count cabinets because then they look better like that. I mean, I will floor and wallpaper everything later. Um, I don't really know what to do with this part. Maybe sort of a pantry. Oh wait, yeah, what if we did that? Imagine that this closet that I'm about to put in is a pantry. So dining area, obviously like a big long table. I might use this custom content just because I really like it. It's the Kishen by Felix, Andre, and Harry. Um, it's awesome custom content and I think it really kind of fits the vibe of these rich people. So I'm gonna do that and then I think, yeah, these kitchen chairs go with it. We'll do that as the dining area and then living area. Okay, so my thoughts on this is that we do like a big sectional couch, like going like here, here, and then putting the TV up there. I think that would make the most sense. So obviously these people gotta have a big TV, they're rich. I've decided they're rich. I'm also gonna use custom content for the couch, for the sectionals. This is the Sim Kia pack by Illogical Sims. It's an awesome, awesome custom content pack. Apparently I've decided we're doing a gray theme. This custom content is awesome because it's like cabinets, the way that you pick out your seating. Let's grab one of those big coffee tables. Yeah, I am just roughly furnishing this house because I'm trying to like go faster with this video um, I will touch it up in final screenshots so don't worry about that office let's look at the office what kind of desk maybe like one of these big fancy desks I mean and they have the cool chair and most expensive computer okay so my camera just cut off I'm not sure exactly where it cut off at it was somewhere doing the office so this is what I have for the office a nice sitting area nice desk bookshelf and painting area um, I don't know what to do with this little nook here. I could just block it off like that and put another desk somewhere. I mean, there's your really cool office. I mean, I love that. I think that's awesome. This is bedroom number one. This somehow is the one with the ensuite, um, even though this one is way bigger. Let's do that. Maybe put that right there. Or should we do it like over here more? And then, yeah. And then we'll put a dresser. Um, we'll do a nice big wall mirror. That looks good, right? Let's see, for this one, what kind of bed? I like that swatch. You know what, I don't hate that swatch. Maybe let's do a closet. I think this person, like, I think they want a full wall of mirrors. I think that would be fun. There we go. That's really cool. I mean, I think they, they do little fashion shows for themselves, maybe. Um, they really enjoy that. Also, I kind of want to give them some poofs some city living poofs. Um, so that's the rough idea for that bedroom. So all we have left is flooring, entranceway, and this room. This is a kid's room. I hate to say it, I'm doing that. I'm blocking off. I don't know what to do with that, that part. So I think we could do two kids in this room. I love giving kids these colorful beds from city living. I think they're, they're spunky. I think they're spunky and cool. Okay, so let's move over here for like a kid's skill building play area. It's just hard to place things on diagonals, you know? So I think maybe, what if we did that? Oh no, but we can't do another one like right there. I don't think, no, that doesn't work because they have to get in front of it for some reason. Let's give them a pink violin because who doesn't love a pink violin? Hmm, a toy box perhaps would be fun. You know what? I don't think this table's gonna work. I think we should give them like a, like desks, like a desk area for them to work on. So I really like these tiny living desks for kids. I think um, it's pretty fitting. Okay, hold on. What if we did that and then that and then bring this over here? I think that's a better use. Yeah, I think that's a better use of space like that. And then, what kind of chair? They're kids, they don't need like the good, cushy, nice chairs. Let's give them some fun chairs. And they can have laptops. Cause that's very kids of them. I think that's really cool. Okay, 
entranceway. So, one thing we always need is shoe racks. Gotta have the shoe racks. I love putting them in the entranceway area because that's where they go. That's where they fit. Gotta have the umbrellas right by the door. No, nope, that's not the coat rack I wanted, but we could put one in here actually. So, here's the rough floor plan of the house. Let's figure out flooring. I think hardwoods are really the only way to go here. Black hardwoods, definitely a bit much. Definitely, oh, but the gray hardwoods look really nice, but it makes it look so monochrome. A light hardwood looks okay. I kind of like that. Okay, for walls, 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 walls. The kitchen, let's just start with the kitchen. I think the parenthood tile is really the only way to go here. Maybe it's not the only way to go. Maybe... Maybe another way is the only way to go. Maybe just like the brick. The brick looks a lot cleaner, I'm gonna say it. I mean, that looks that looks okay, but it looks a little weird. I don't like it, I changed my mind. I think we're just gonna do the basic standards white. I think that looks good. Like, I think that kind of goes. For the I think for the bedrooms we can just do the same white trim. I mean, maybe we should do a fun color in the kids' room though. Like purple! Purple is very intense. This is a very intense purple. But I mean, they're kids. Of course they, they would love that. I also am going to change all the windows to white because I think that just goes better. Doesn't really go with the style at all of Oasis Springs, but that's not what I said I was, that's not what I set out to do here. I thought about theming this house like Texas, but I know very little how you would theme a house like Texas. I have been to Texas twice. I've been to Austin once and Dallas once, um, both last year. So it's it's, it's fresh in my mind. But um, it's not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I have the authority to say this. This is really a lot like Texas. This house. Should we just continue the hardwoods into the like into the bedrooms? Now the thing. What do you even do with this area? I mean, I guess you could put another table like this with it. Okay, so this is the rough layout of the house. We have the entranceway here. We have the kitchen, the dining area, the two bathrooms, the living area, the office, the first or the, the biggest bedroom, the master with the ensuite, and a kid's room. Um, I'm going to clutter it up a bit, um, for the sake of the video, I'm not doing that in the video just to keep it short and sweet, but here are the final screenshots. I don't know how it's going to turn out, so I don't want to say I think it turned out awesome because I didn't do it yet, but I, I think it will turn out very interesting, but I think the overall shape of the house is very Texas-like, and I think that we kind of accomplished our goal here, um, so... I mean, here is the final layout of the house, like here, I think it looks very Texas. I think it really does look like Texas, so I had a lot of fun with this. Like, I had way more fun than I thought I would. Um, maybe because it, like, turned out very, kind of well, but I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope that you liked the first installment of Sarah Builds the States. Comment down below and tell me which state you want me to do next. I will eventually do all 50 of them, but if you want to see one, um, sooner rather than later, Comment down below, let me know. Tell me what you think. Tell me um, if you think this is a fun series. I would love to see other people try it. This house will be on the gallery. My EA um, ID username is Sarah Kendall, but Kendall has three L's because someone took Sarah Kendall with just two L's. Um, so you can find it there. You can um, download it, change it, play in it, do whatever you want with it. So yeah, I think that about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can see all the new videos I post. And make sure that you hit the bell icon to turn on notifications so that you are aware every time that I post a new video. I'm super excited to continue this series as well as my 100 baby challenge. If you haven't watched that, make sure that you go check that out. Um, comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this video, what you think of this build. Um, make sure that you throw a like on this video. That really helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!